Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanchit Reyes. I am working as technical architect at Adobe and here I present the 4th of August Lead Code Challenge. The problem that we have in today is mirror reflection. This problem is a medium level question on lead code and is based on the concept of geometry and geometries are rarely asked in interviews. So in case you want to skip this question, it's all right. For those who are still interested, here I present the solution. Even before jumping on to the presentation where I'll talk about the algorithm, let's try and understand the question first. Here in this question, we are given a square room. So remember, it's a square room given to us with all mirrors on all the four walls. There are three receptors given in the question, numbered from 0, 1 and 2. So if you have a look at this figure, then you will see that this is a square given to us, square room given to us, and all the walls have mirrors on it. There are three receptors stated at 0th position, 1st position and 2nd position. A beam is thrown from this particular end and we are given the distance from the 0th index to which the beam first lands upon. So this is the distance Q and we are also given the side value of the square that we have which is represented by P. What we need to do, we need to identify onto which receptor the beam will finally land upon. Will it be 0, will it be 1 or will it be 2? So this is the ask of the question. And without further ado, let's quickly jump onto the presentation where I'll be talking about the algorithm and how to identify the approach. Mirror reflection, lead code 858. It's a medium level question and we will be using the concept of physics from 11 to 12 standard. And in case if you're not aware of those, don't worry, I'm there for you. Also, if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded both the links are stated below now let's get back to understanding the algorithm here i have taken a slightly different example to what was specified in the question and let me just explain the question first and then we will converge on to the algorithm so here we are given a square the side of the square happens to be of three units we have three light receptors located at three corners of the square. The first one is over here, the next one is over here, the next one is over here. That means if a ray of light enters these receptors, it's going to be absorbed. And rest of the area that is being highlighted, all the four walls of the square are filled with reflectors. That means whenever light falls on them, laws of reflection will come into picture. What we are also told, we are told that a light source is located at this particular corner and a light is intended onto this particular wall the wall that i'm just highlighting right now this one and where will this light fall in the first place it will fall at q distance from the zeroth coordinate which is this one so in this case light is falling at over this position that i'm just highlighting which is at two units from the zeroth coordinate what we need to do, we need to identify the receptor ID at which this ray of light finally converts. And let's apply the laws of reflection onto this particular point and let's name this point as R1. We know that the angle of incidence happens to be equal to the angle of reflection. So light would be traveling somewhat in this direction once reflected from R1 point. And for the sake of better visualization, let's assume that the, a parallel square is placed somewhat like this light is getting reflected at R1. What do we need to do? We need to identify the location at which this particular reflected light would finally land. And this position, let's call it R2, will be at same distance from R1 as R1 is from the source. So R1 is at two units from the source, two vertical units from the source. As a result of which we can say that the distance between R2 and R1 would be again be two vertical units. So this is 2 and this is again 2 by virtue of laws of reflection. Now it's time to again apply laws of reflection on to point R2 and what's going to happen? Again light is going to reflect it and what would be the angle of reflection? It again would be equal to angle of incidence and light would travel somewhat in this direction. So if you carefully observe then you can see that light would be absorbed at this particular receptor ID. What would be the ID of this receptor? It would be equal to zero. So this will finally, this finally converges at the zeroth receptor. 
if you carefully observe then you will realize that whenever the final terminal value of q happens to be even and final terminal value of p happens to be odd then we can say that the convergence point or the receptor at which the ray of light would finally converge would be equal to 0 so you can draw few more cases you can take the value of q as 4 the value of p as 6 and you can draw few more permutations as well with respect to the terminal value i'll explain it in the coding section so don't worry so this is first test case that we can think of the other test case would be equal to where the final terminal value of q is odd and final terminal value of p is even so what is going to happen in this case let's assume q as 1 p as 2 so the light would be reflected about this particular location and it will converge at the second receptor id somewhat like this so the answer in all such case would be equal to 2 let's talk about the third case where the final terminal value is odd of p and that of q is again odd so let's assume uh, q to be 1 and p to be 1 as you can see the light will directly land at the receptor id 1 and it will be absorbed over here when shooted from the source so in all such cases the answer would be equal to 1 in order to conclude it up let's quickly walk through the coding section so if you carefully analyze from line number 7 to line number 17 you will see that these are the same three statements that i talked in the presentation these are the three test cases if q happens to be even and p happens to be odd answer would be zero if q happens to be odd and p happens to be even the answer is two if q and odd both are odd the, the answer is one and before that what we have i have done i have removed the common factors of 2 from both p and q till the time both p and q are even in nature as soon as either p turns out to be even odd or q turns out to be odd we abort this process and those values of p and q would be the terminal value so you can draw few test cases and you will yourself visualize that why are we doing this so let's submit this up accepted with this we have successfully completed day 4th of august lead code challenge i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question till then goodbye